an affordable price. Should you keep it? Should you sell it? Because uh, stuff like this isn't going to be uh, produced again. Um, and so that's something that you should, like I said, consider for your collection. So no longer am I looking up Tone Morgan dollars here. I'm looking up typesets, overdates, uh, different series, the whole slew of things that I might find on someone's shop. Um, that, that will ultimately give me uh, a diversity in my shop. Hey guys, this is Drew with Acoustic Collectibles. Welcome back to a brand new video. Uh, UPS guy just dropped off this package. Uh, this coin or these coins are about to blow your mind. Stay tuned. A little bit of backstory on these coins before uh, the video starts. Uh, I think I've been trying to buy these coins for eight or nine months. Um, just a very rare set. Um, and now they're finally here. So if you guys are ever interested in coins or a coin that someone has, make sure you're on their list because one day they're going to sell them. So we just got this three piece set in, uh, like I said we've been waiting months and months and months just to get the opportunity to buy it. Um, this is a crazy set, uh, coins are not housed like this anymore and on top of that I mean each coin has its own uniqueness and uh, just they're all just gorgeous coins but let's take these upstairs to the light box and show you guys these coins and a few others that we got in recently. Hey guys, I wanted to take a break just to tell you guys that I use this light box to record and take photos of my coins. It's pretty easy. You can uh, plug it into the wall and uh, you know if you guys are interested in a box like this, maybe for a video of your own or maybe photos um, for, for your coins, I have an affiliate link down below that you can use to buy this light box off Amazon. Uh, this $29 light box has made me thousands, so hopefully it does the same for you. Hey guys, just made it up to the light box and I wanted to bring out a few things to show you. Um, first and foremost, I wanted to share with you this three piece that we uh, we tried to show you downstairs but the lighting wasn't too good. Um, here is this giant NGC three piece holder set. I don't even know if I can get all in frame here. Uh, as you can take a look from the top coin here, um, just a really beautiful array of, of color. Um, you can see just that gold Gold, pink, uh, blue, uh, green, all the way up to that auburn looking uh, feel to it. And if we take a look down towards the bottom here, bottom right, you can, I think you can see almost like a, a thread, almost. I think that was from uh, toning within uh, the, the sacks that they used when they shipped out these Morgans. And here is um, the last one here. Um, just an amazing set. Um, I think... All these came either out of the same uh, same collection, same bag. Um, something um, that they all had in common was just the the way that they've toned um, and the way that they've they've been presented themselves. But today we're gonna be talking a little bit about um, spending time uh, trying to find the right coins uh, for your clients or f for a long term uh, long term pickup like this. And also we're gonna be talking about short term stuff, uh, how we find stuff on eBay when others don't. Uh, we're going to show you some other really interesting holders today, so you're going to want to stick around and see that. But let's just admire this set real quick. Just, I mean, when I got this sucker in, man, I was so excited. Uh, I, I, like I said, I've waited on this, this set for uh, nine months. Um, and the way I found this set was it was posted on Facebook. And uh, when I saw it on Facebook, I messaged the guy that owned it immediately, and he said, I don't want to sell it. Uh, you know, I'm trying to uh, acquire, acquire the best set in the world you know all this kind of stuff and he does have a lot of really really nice coins um, but I said you know what 
you know, most people would be turned away and say, you know, I get, I'll never get it. I'll never be the one to uh, buy this coin one day. And most of the time, uh, you're right. You'll be right when uh, when you when you say it to a few people and they never write you back. Um, but this time I was at the Tennessee show. Someone wrote me and said, hey, Drew, uh, I'm ready to sell. Are you ready to buy? And I said, yes, sir, I am. So uh, be willing and be ready to uh, take take up people whenever you send them an offer, even if it's a long term uh, a long term kind of pickup, because you could be getting stuff like this. And I was I think I was the first one online before he would have put it out on an auction or something else. So extremely fortunate uh, to have this set uh, available to me. And uh, we're gonna be posting this set up on the website shortly. So stay tuned for that. Hey everybody, uh, wanted to take a quick break in this episode and thank a few people that uh, are buying stuff on our website. Uh, thank you, Andre, you're the man. I appreciate the coins that you sent me and now you're doing business and buying uh, some additional coins. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, Triad Sounds, thank you also. Uh, you left a really positive note on our website. Uh, we work really hard to help you find good stuff, so I'm glad you found something that you like for your store. Uh, Malachi, you're the man. Thank you for uh, picking up this uh, Mercury Dime and leaving a positive message about our videos. Uh, we try to do the best we can and give you guys the most value as possible. Uh, Brett, thank you for, you know, your, you helped us on Facebook uh, sell some coins and now you're helping us uh, on the website uh, with buying some coins, so I really appreciate that. Uh, thank you, Joe, for picking up some Raw Morgans. Uh, we got a lot more coming for you. And Thomas, you're the man, stacking up the orders. Thank you, brother. Uh, but let's get back to the episode. But let's get into some other holders today. Um, we ended up picking up a whole bunch of doily holders. If you guys don't know what doilies are. Uh, they use these holders for about a month. Or actually, yeah, we use these holders and this backdrop here, which is the doily backdrop for a month. Um, they made uh, they made them, uh, like I said, for a month, and then they started to make these retro doilies, which basically was the, the 2.0 gen of doilies, which was, I think, last year or two years ago. So the thing that you want to look out for when you're when someone says this is a genuine doily, you're going to want to look at the cert number. The cert number is going to be seven. Um, there's only going to be seven numbers on the cert number. Um, when I first was told, oh, this is a doily, I looked at the cert number, and there was like eight or nine uh, numbers on there, and that's just something you have to spot out, uh, but I ended up finding all these coins on eBay, and when I found these coins on eBay, um, I actually used a certain trick, we we'll are be talking about that trick in uh, the whiteboard session today, um, because it is valuable for you guys if you are wanting to buy some stuff on eBay, and I think that you'll be very blessed by it, but if you want to take, if we take a deep dive on this coin, I think this coin was massively undergraded, I think it actually might receive a gold cack um, at PCGS, it does have some gunky stuff, uh, you know, it has like a little bit of haze here, you can see on the coin, um, and there's a fingerprint here, so that might hold it back from a 6, in terms of if CAC thinks it's, uh, two grades above, um, to receive that gold CAC, but just such an interesting, uh, series that, that people have started to collect, uh, we showed you guys a white label a few months back, and, uh, and that's, this is kind of the, the white label uh, NGC to the PCGS doily here. So, um, But I ended up buying, we're going to break down some raw numbers for you guys today. We're going to be posting it up to the top left of the screen. Uh, I bought this coin for $200 and I think $54. And I sold this coin for uh, $310. And um, basically in the way I found this coin is that uh, the person didn't even write doily on the listing on eBay. And you're like, well, how did you find the coin if doily wasn't in the search terms? And so uh, it's something that we're going to be sharing with you shortly. But needless to say, we made $50 on this coin, which is outstanding um, for, for uh, coins like this. Um, if you can get make a $50 profit on something like this, you should do it every day of the week. And that's what you guys are uh, practicing or you're already doing. Um, but let me show you guys a few more. And these actually all happen to be Franklin Half Dollars. It's a 1960 uh, Franklin half dollar grade MS63 by PCGS, um, and I would say the grades are fair. I think it would be a 64 maybe. So I think this might get a green CAC if someone were to submit it. Um, we actually ended up buying these, uh, buying all these in a lot. I'm gonna give you guys the net, the price of what we got all these in a lot for, um, and then actually you know what we actually sold them for as well. Um, and so this these 
these doilies actually made us a few hundred dollars, I think almost close to $400. So having that information is key when you're on eBay or key when you're on a different website. You know what to look for, you know how to circumvent kind of what uh, eBay tries to sell you. Sometimes they get recommended stuff like that. But let's go to the whiteboard session right now, show you guys what we're talking about. This is Drew. Welcome back to another whiteboard session. In this whiteboard session, we're going to be talking about how we hunt uh, coins on eBay. Um, what we would call it is alt hunting. And basically what that means is that we use a different approach to find coins that we need. Um, most people look up a certain uh, type of coin and then they look through all those listings and then they don't find what they need. Um, but we're going to actually use uh, a seller store to help you find coins that might interest you, uh, like I said, for uh, either your collection or for your shop. But let's start off with the, uh, the first thing that we always do, which was we f have a search term, we look it up. Um, and the search term that we're going to use as an example in this video is uh, Tone Morgan Dollar. So say I look up Tone Morgan Dollar, um, I'm going to start scrolling down. And basically what I do is I find a certain coin that might stick out to me um, in terms of having a bad photo or say it's an interesting coin. Uh, something that you don't see every day. It's not so necessarily something you would buy, uh, but it's something that would pique your interest. And basically what you, what you should do after that, and what we do, is we, we click on the listing and we scroll down to, to visit their store. Um, and the, what, we, what that means is, is that instead of just looking at the Tone Morgans that are on eBay, we're actually using the store as a vehicle to find coins instead of using a search term as a vehicle to find coins. And what that basically is, is that I click on visit, visit their store, and instead of just looking at the Tone Morgan that they might have, I look at the hundreds of coins that they might have listed on their site. And so the, what that does for me is that uh, basically it offers me a whole slew of different things um, in terms of providing for inventory, or say, like we were talking about in previous videos, a dealer's not good at pricing, say, Morgan dollars, or not good at pricing bus hats. But say that they are good at to uh, pricing tone Morgan dollars. Well, based on my knowledge and my expertise, uh, maybe I can combat with them on their store and find something that's worth the buy. And basically what that does for us is that uh, it could give us a back, kind of a, it's almost like a back channel for you to find coins, um, and say that like, a, like how we are right now, I like to do uh, overdate mercury dimes, or I like to have tone Morgan dollars, or I like rattler holders, or I like say typesets. All these things could be included in this 100 plus listings that they might have on their site that most people overlook or most people never search. And so what does this ultimately mean? It, it, it means that it opens you up to many different search terms. So no longer am I looking up Tone Morgan dollars here, I'm looking up typesets, overdates, uh, different series, the whole slew of things that I might find on someone's shop, um, that, that will ultimately give me uh, a diversity in my shop if they don't price things correctly. And the thing that uh, got us into this whole doily situation where we made a decent amount of profit, you guys already saw, is that we, we found these coins with search terms that were missing. And so basically what happened was I looked up PCGS Rattler, um, and then I clicked on the guy's store, I went to his store, and he ended up having doilies listed, but they didn't have the search term doily in it. And so, basically what that is, is that the doilies were available to be bid on, but people that normally look up doilies, or Tone Morgans, whatever that they want to buy, they would never see them, they would never find them. And so for me, I basically had a free picking spree with these doilies and that allowed me to make the margin or the profit that I did. So what does this ultimately lead up to? Okay, um, you know, you do this for a week, you find three or four things that you like, um, they end up being something that is worth your while. Um, how does this translate? How does this make you a, a better eBayer or find stuff on eBay? Well, the way it helps us is that uh, Basically, we go back to that seller many, many times in, in ways of 
uh, looking at their store uh, maybe every few days and that allows us to uh, maybe see what we haven't uh, you know see things that haven't been posted yet or see things that have been posted that we didn't know if we should take a leap on all these things are in super important to understand because now you have uh, a client list of, of sources that you can buy from uh, so and what we do is we view them as sources for more so we like I said we end up buying that rattler that we talked about and then we looked and viewed for more and then we saw them as as a source and we bought all those doilies and when we bought all those doilies we ended up making some serious money um, but the one thing that I would stress the most out of this whole whiteboard session is to keep repeating it every day every night uh, every you know every week be consistent because uh, the more consistent you are, uh, the more hungry you are, uh, the more likely you'll find something um, that is worth your while that other people haven't gotten to yet. So I hope this whiteboard session helps you. Uh, please leave your comments down below. We'll try our best to uh, fill in the gaps where we missed. But let's get back uh, to the episode. Welcome back, guys. Thank you for watching uh, that whiteboard session. I hope it helped you guys. It has helped me. Uh, become a better uh, sniper something to find on uh, eBay, but up next. Let's show you guys uh, this 1926 s uh, Red fuel holder you can see the nice toning that's starting to come in on it. I didn't really submit this to NGC yet I bought this a few months back from Blake at Royal Coins Houston, but as you can tell there's that extraordinary uh, I mean, I don't know. I think it's very nice for for uh, a piece dollar just because it's hard for them to tone but you can see a really nice rim toning coming in on the coin. Um, and it's even skipping over the, the mint mark when you zoom in all the way. It's kind of interesting there too. But we threw this thing in the safe. Didn't really know what to do with it. Uh, I thought it would be you know something that we could uh, let it sit back until we have time to submit it. And uh, stuff like this is the older holders that people offer. I think something like this would go to you know, 300 350 $400 uh, for something. Um, like this because of the holder that it's that it's in and some people uh, you know when we're talking about Franklin's uh, inside these doilies let me show you guys another one of those um, someone would ask well, who would pay 300 some dollars for a doily and that's the thing or, or a Franklin and a doily and that's the thing um, plastic and paper have such a significant um, part of numismatics um, there's a few holders that are prominent um, but like I was saying, the white labels or the, the doilies or now the rattlers are starting to get a little bit hotter. Um, but these are the things that you guys should watch out for. Keep on the eye and hunt for because if you do, you could end up making serious money. And let me show you guys a picture. Uh, we actually did find a white label uh, piece dollar uh, from NGC a few months back. And we've actually seen uh, some white labels sell on eBay for uh, $2,000. So that's something that... You should consider as well when you find something this this good for an affordable price. Should you keep it? Should you sell it? Because uh, stuff like this isn't going to be uh, produced again, um, and so that's something that you should, like I said, consider for your collection. Now let me show you guys two more uh, two more coins before you go, and it's kind of seeing the same trend in this video. This is a 1955 Franklin half dollar rated MS64 by PCGS. Um, this coin's pretty nice as well. Has a soft strike, as you can see, uh, uh, in front of the ear, on the face. Um, but overall, the luster's pretty strong on the coin. I don't see too many distracting marks uh, on on the reverse of the coin here. But um, I bought well, the, the way this all worked, which we showed you guys a coin in a few videos back. There's a Franklin half dollar um, that we bought all these Franklin half dollars from a rattler. Um, uh, a few videos back, we ended up buying um, a Rattler Morgan dollar from this guy on eBay. And so what would happen was we uh, we found the Rattler and we're like, you know what, let's, let's take a risk. We ended up buying the Rattler for hundred uh, $129, right? And then when we got it in hand, it looked like this. So, wow, right? And so I said, you know what, maybe this guy's got other good stuff. Um, and that's something that's powerful for you when you're on eBay. Um, Basically, if you buy something from somebody and you know you can make a profit um, from what you're buying from them, check in with them regularly. Check in with them. They might have more collections that they're buying, selling. They might be selling their dad's collection. Things that you should always understand and consider um, when uh, when on eBay because 
uh, they're almost like connections that you get for free once you buy um, a coin from them because you can go back through your purchase history and uh, start to search through and find uh, new things that they might have that others ha haven't found yet. It's just something that gives you that back, uh, kind of that backstage access to people like that. They know that you've done business and you can start to cultivate a relationship. But thank you guys for watching uh, this part of the video. Let's shoot it to the outro. Thank you guys for watching today's video. If you did enjoy our video, please leave a like. It supports our dream. You want to comment your thoughts? We like your thoughts. What do you think about the coins? What do you think about what we had to say? And subscribe. You got to join the community. We're just, I mean, we're the best ones on here, let's be honest. And why do you want to subscribe? You don't want to miss an episode. I mean, we got great coins coming out. Great information as a dealer coming out. Do all those things and we'll see you in the next episode.